Hi everyone, welcome back to Star Trek The Original Series, Season 3. Today we're going to be watching another episode, and that episode is called And the Children Shall Lead. I hope these children are a little bit less obnoxious than the ones in the Miri episode. I hope you guys are excited for this, whether it's when you love, whether it's when you hate, or you're kind of in the middle about. Hopefully we can all have a good time watching it together, so let's do it. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the comments. Responding to a distress call from our scientific colony on Triacus. Oh yeah, they look very distressed. Scientific colony. Are they all dead? Oh, that guy's moving. That's a science. It's Kirk. He's dead, Captain. He's dead, Jim. He didn't seem to know me. She's got like bruises or something. Oh, wow. Cyanide. Self inflicted. Like cyanide? The enemy from within. And the kit. Oh God. Kirk. Nice Starship boots. Enterprise. Come on, play with us. Bring around the rosy, pocket full of rosy. Uh, there's a bunch of dead people on the ground. Bring around the rosy, pocket full of <laughs> He does not look amused. He's like this. There's something very wrong about this. Hmm. Well, they don't seem very phased by the death of the adults. And how very apt that they they do the ring around the rosy thing. I don't remember exactly what it's about, but I know it's it's very dark. Like it's about like all fall down is like people actually dying. Uh I gotta look it up. I don't remember. Everyone has been deeply affected by what has happened here, with some important exceptions. Were they married couples? Looks like there were two bodies at each grave site. What about questioning them? Not until the fabric of the traumatization weakens. Forcing them to see this experience now could cause permanent damage. Be careful. I mean, they're kind of cute. It's late and it's time to go up to the ship. Oh, not yet. Come on, it's time to be going. So strange. The attack on Professor Starn's party must surely have been unprovoked. Mass suicide is what it seems to be. But there's got to be a reason. Induced by an outside force. Mm hmm Could have been chemically induced. What would make the children immune? I do not know. Then the children would have been exempted by conscious design. So malicious attack? Seems to be some disturbance coming from that cave. I wouldn't want to go in there. I would have my phaser out at least. Oh, that's strange. Very strange. I'm getting a feeling of anxiety. Oh, get out of there. I'm not aware of it, Captain. But what's causing your tricorder to react? Yeah, get out of there. Are you all right, Captain? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. Let's get back to the ship. And I am going to question those children. Did they go as far back into the tunnel as they could? I feel like Spock could have gone and looked further. Now, what would you like? Just call out your favorites. Well, would you like a surprise, Stevie? I want a milkshake or ice cream. Coconut and vanilla. They're both white. There are unpleasant surprises as well as pleasant ones. What would you like for your pleasant surprise? Chocolate, wobble, and pistachio. And peach. Oh, he got a big one! <laughs> they behave as though nothing had gone wrong. And I have no answers, Jim. There has to be an answer. Well, I won't prevent you questioning them, but it could harm the children if you do. Yeah, play yeah and after this, we can all play games. She's got babysitting duty. It's better than Triacus, isn't it? That dirty old planet. What's so good about that place? You don't know. Mm hmm. What don't I know? Parents like stupid things. Parents like children. Huh. 
That's what you think. Busy, 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 busy. It's happening again. Bonk, bonk on the head. Na, 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 na. I don't like it. No! Oh, it'll spoil your dinner. See what I told you? They all say it. Yeah. I'm afraid of them. They're creepy. It's all right, that's not true. Just a moment. No. I'd like to ask you a question. The set looks great, though, I will say. Honey, will you tell me what you saw? You were there. Did you see your father today? I saw him. Did he seem upset? He was always upset. Just like you, Captain Kirk. Aren't you upset about leaving your parents? They love it down there. They're happy. They're dead. But he doesn't seem to realize that. Post a guard on the children. They're to be kept under constant watch. Good idea. Hail, hail, fire and snow. Call the angel, we will go. Hail, hail. They're doing a summoning. What the heck? You have done very well, my friends. You have come aboard the Enterprise. Marcus 12 has millions of people on it. We will defeat our enemies as we defeated them on Triacus. The universe will be mine to command, yours to play. To control the ship, we first must control the crew. That is your next task. So shall you do as you please. So shall you didn't know I was watching a horror episode. So he's building an army of children? That's horrifying. Captain, I have extracted the salient portion of Professor Storen's tapes. I felt a certain growing feeling of uneasiness. The only ones not affected are the children. The feeling of anxiety we've all been experiencing is growing worse. There is another portion, Captain, which I believe you'll find particularly interesting. Oh, boy. It would appear that one of the race took refuge in the cave. Some unseen force were... Wow. That kid did it. Captain, after we leave here, can you take us to Marcus 12? Sorry, Tommy. Marcus 12 is not within our patrol area. Can I stay here and watch? I'll be very quiet. All right, Tommy. Mr. Leslie? I've never seen that little doohickey before. Is he changing their course to Marcus? Looks like they're leaving the planet. What is that? on the screen he thinks he sees it oh so through this weird th thing that they summoned he's given the, them these powers to like mess with people's minds will we reach marco's 12 soon very soon i do like this it's very memorable this this thing that they do. What do you mean we haven't changed course? Look at your bridge control monitor. We're still in orbit, sir. You blind fool! Can't you see what's in front of you? We're not in orbit! Now step aside. You're losing control of yourself, sir. Not yet. <laughs> I'll show you losing control. <laughs> oh. Wonder if there's a limit to how many they can uh, control at once because he could have just done this to Scotty I request a spaceship to be used as a transport I began to realize that my mind was being directed God forgive us we must destroy ourselves the enemy from within the enemy the enemy from within Bash was never sent except for scenes of family life games and picnics with the children evil does seek to maintain power by suppressing the truth or by misleading the innocent. Mm hmm Those kids. I don't know if they're innocent, though. What do we know about the race that lived here? According to the legend, it warns that the evil is awaiting a catalyst and send it marauding across the galaxy. 
Is it possible that the evil found the catalyst? That unless the normal grief is tapped and released from these children, you are treading dangerously. What was it Professor Stern said about the unseen force? Was beginning to fight it and canceled his request for a ship. Yes, a ship for Dreyakos, but why? To escape. To escape the planet. I think it's about time we found out whether Professor Starn's enemy within is on the planet below or here on board ship with us. Is the catalyst just people? Like he has to move around with people? Beam up the security detachment from Trianacus. I am unable to lock onto the proper coordinates, Captain. Why not? It appears we are no longer orbiting Trianacus. Hmm. I forgot about that. And the men I beamed down are dead. Shit. Did they just beam them out into space? We're not orbiting Triagus. With all respects, Captain, you're wrong. Fire and show. Call the angel. We will go. Uhura thinks this is cute. It's not cute, girl. <laughs> okay, so thought he was gonna try to stay hidden, but the enemy have discovered our operation oh they no longer control the ship we do they will take us any place we desire the fear in each one of them is the beast which will consume him if you need me call and i will appear we must not falter who is this guy and what exactly is he after why does he need an army of little kids go to your stations mary you remain here with me I mean, obviously, he's he can't like use adults to be in his army because I guess he can't like control them in the same way. But what does he need an army for? Disregard what you see on the screen, what you think you see on the screen. Houseman, do you hear me? Yes, sir. <laughs> he's like, it's really hard to ignore what I'm seeing on the screen right now. Starbase four. I want a thorough investigation made upon our arrival. Aye, aye, sir. Huh. Didn't know there was a mirror there. I see my death. Lieutenant, Lieutenant, there's nothing there. Oh, God. Oh, poor thing. Sulu, I ordered you to change course. He's just looking at these knives like, what the hell? Captain, stay away from the controls. If you touch them, we'll be destroyed. Oh, if they it's move, the then they'll go there. right into the... Oh, my goodness. Into the knives. Why are we bothering Starfleet? That was an order, Spock. This bridge is under complete control. Complete. Oh, no, no. Did they get Spock, too? Oh, man. I thought maybe he might be immune because of his Vulcan mind powers. I'm sure it's going to be harder to control him, though. Maybe? Man, if they can even control I Spock... Obey your order, Captain. That's scary. Spock's supposed to be the one who's like, because of my Vulcan nature, I'm not affected by this. <laughs> That's so funny looking. Take Mr. Solo to his quarters. He's relieved of duty. <laughs> His speech is backwards. Oh man, this is trippy. Did you hear me? Knock this kid out. I don't care if he's a kid. Knock him the frick out. Oh man. Captain, we must get off this bridge. I'm losing my ability to command. They got him with the anxiety and the self-doubt. I've lost the Enterprise. <gasps> His worst nightmare. Oh, hello. You've got command. Did they get far enough away from the kids? Where to, Captain? Auxiliary control, my Vulcan friend. Well, Scotty's back uh, up. Well, of course, for Starbase 4. I can't do that, sir. We would all be lost, forever lost. Well, I got him too. Not safe here either. Go away or we'll kill you. Scotty. 
There's no getting through to him. Knock these kids out! I want to see Kirk do that flying drop kick on them. Captain, so long as the children are present, there is danger. Say, children being misled. Yes, and they need to be knocked out. Captain, the 430 men and women on board the Enterprise and the ship itself are endangered by these children. Them's the facts. But the evil that is within them is spreading fast, and unless we can find a way to remove it, we'll have to kill them. <gasps> Can't you just knock them out? I have been instructed to place you and Mr. Spock under arrest. Now listen to me. This order is false. I'm sorry, Captain, but I must insist you and Mr. Spock come with me. Ensign, listen to me. I don't know why they keep trying to reason with the crew when they obviously just need to knock these kids out. Listen to me, you will disobey this order. Starfleet command supersedes your order, sir. Thank you. No point in talking. Whoa. Take these men to detention. Then join me on the bridge. Look at this smug ass kid. The prize will never reach Marcus 12. You will not be landed there. They won't take you to Marcus. They will. No. We, we are going to Marcus. We are going to Marcus. Where is your friend? Where is that stowaway? Why does he hide? What's he afraid of? He is not afraid of anybody. Let him show himself. Bring him out. No. Mr. Spark, play back the chant. The children sang to summon up the garden. Oh, could they play it back and then he'll appear? Call the angel, we will go. Is he having trouble getting the reception? There he is. My beast is gone. Yeah, I command again. No, Captain. I command here. I would ask you to join me, but you were gentle. You were full of goodness. Such as you cannot be changed. So the children are evil? <laughs> That's why they can be strong and manipulated? Mr. Spock, the pictures? I forbid it. Pictures of them happy with their family? Mm hmm. Oh, this is just sad. They're gonna realize their parents are dead. Oh, no. They were against us. They have to be eliminated. Oh, this is sad. You can't hide from them. They see you as we see you. They know what you are. You are my future generals. Together we can raise armies of followers. We have millions of friends on Marcus 12. Don't be afraid. Look at them. <laughs> He's like the worst villain that we've come across. Like About as you far children, as he's nothing. Evil. Ew. The evil remains within him. To your post. Is that his Carry true form, or? Look how ugly he really is. Look at. Him. Well, don't judge him on his appearance. Judge him on his actions. <laughs> so, they're crying, Jim. I don't know how it happened, but it's good to see. <laughs> that taken out of context. <laughs> it's all right. We can help them now. Aww. Reverse course, Mr. Sulu. Nice. I'm so glad that these children are crying now that they realize their parents were killed. Voice reverse yet. Poor Chekhov, he's still in detention. Okay, well, that was just a very bad vibes episode, like very it, getting under your skin, uncomfortable, like you just kind of feel like the heebie-jeebies the whole time, like the kids with their chant and their their games. And, you know, I just I'm not afraid of clowns, not really spiders, um, you know, the boogeyman, but children, children are scary. <laughs>
<laughs> they can be portrayed as very creepy, very eerie, and they definitely made these kids creepy. And even though, like, I had a feeling that by the end they were going to be crying over the death of their parents, and I, I was dreading that, and I knew that was going to be really tough. It was hard for me to kind of like them before that point because they were creepy, they were annoying, they were uncooperative, they were just evil. Evil little squirts. The villain was interesting. I guess he's not really my favorite villain uh, that we've had. He himself wasn't really that scary, but I guess that's kind of the point. Like, without his followers, without anybody to believe in him and be controlled by him, he's pretty much nothing. So I guess just the gist of it is that he could only control, like, the young, the innocent, the inexperienced and adults have like this wisdom they have the knowledge and experience of like right and wrong and so they can't be manipulated so he had to go after the children and i guess he was gonna try to create this army of children which if there was an army of children that all had the powers then 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 it would be pretty scary because they can like control what people perceive kind of control their minds and um things like that but those poor kids even though they creeped me out and i didn't like it when they danced around and sang around and started doing really evil mean things they were under his spell and then they realized that their their parents died and that was really sad what a weird episode. This episode is weird. It was weird. Like, first we sent those two um, red shirts out into space, never to be seen again. And then those knives flying at us in space, they kept showing that. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> For some reason, seeing that just made me want to laugh so much every time. And then bones coming out at the end like they're crying that's that's so good to see <laughs> yeah it was just it was just it was just kind of creepy and weird and and I, man i don't know i don't think i really liked it <laughs> i mean i don't want to say that i disliked it it was just kind of like middle of the pack for me i think it's gonna be like maybe a middle of the pack episode not a favorite not spock's brain <laughs> Just kind of like, it's just kind of there and it's just kind of weird. I'm curious. I'm curious what you guys think about this one. What's the general consensus? I mean, I know everybody has their own favorites and it's always interesting to see how, how varied it is. And there's always like, even the episodes that, like even Spock's brain, there's always going to be people where they're like, I love this episode. And and there's the people who hate it and every other every episode has things like that so but i'm kind of curious about this one generally uh how how people regard it i just gotta say if they wanted me to feel uncomfortable and creeped out and weirded out and just uneasy then they nailed it because yeah that's that's um exactly how i'm feeling right now what about you guys okay i'm gonna get out of here Thank you guys for watching, hanging out. I had a lot of fun. It's always a pleasure and a joy to watch this series, even if it has creepy kids in it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.